Hello everybody, Jurassic Productions here, or Jurassic J here. Uh, this time with a little bit more of a serious video, there's probably not going to be much gameplay over it. There probably isn't going to be any music over it. Uh, this is just a quick little video talking about something that has been very important to me, especially in recent times. Uh, suicide awareness. Now, if you guys have not followed me on Twitter at all, you guys probably wouldn't know, so I guess I'll spit it out right now. Uh, very recently, I suffered a loss of a very close friend I had since the first grade, or as many people probably overseas would call it, first year, uh, which, you know, it's a very long time to know a person. Um, because I think he really deserves it, I'm going to actually use his first name his first name's bailey i'm not going to use his last name because you know privacy reasons but i might as well use his actual first name out of respect i think he at least deserves that much um i've known this guy since first grade and he was kind of one of the people where i got my sense of humor from you know if it wasn't filmmakers like harold ramus which i really want to make a, eul a eulogy for harold ramus but you know the uh time never comes unfortunately or if it's from youtubers like some ordinary gamers or make me bad 35 you know some of those old old school youtubers or some of those old school filmmakers I think Bailey was where I got some of that uh, sense of humor from as well. Uh, he was also a very sweet person. I'm trying to find the right words. Uh, he was also a very sweet and kind, down to earth and genuine person. You know, and I think he himself had his own insecurities. And I think everybody has those at some point or another. In the, and they probably have those weaknesses that carry on with them throughout my entire life like for me i actually belong on the autism spectrum i'm very high i'm very high on the spectrum but i'm on the spectrum nonetheless i got hfa which is high functioning autism so you know i ain't i ain't like all the other autistic people you, you know that you see on the internet that you know go you know what i mean uh, like over szechuan sauce because rick and morty had an episode dedicated to it you know what i mean like, um, and you know, those also give me a little bit of weaknesses. Like sometimes I'll catch myself, you know, having like, um, physical or audio ticks, which is something that's very repetitive. Like sometimes, uh, especially if it's like a suspenseful moment in like a movie that I'm watching, sometimes my hands will start going like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's like an instinct of like, come on, come on, get out of there. You know, but sometimes they'll even happen when it's not even that much of a suspenseful moment. But, um, or, you know, uh, and this is not related to autism, but uh, college especially, um, it is a very total different ball game from high school, especially, um, you know, just trying to keep up with, you know, and the stuff that college throws at you while also trying to re while also trying to keep a very normal sleeping schedule is very hard not to put it ever so simply so you know a lot of people have those demons and sometimes that leads to you know even the the most and i and i hate to use this phrase but i guess i'll use it in in place for now in case I find a phrase that's probably a little bit more accurate, mentally stable, I guess, you know, um, again, no offense to like all the, all the people out there that actually may be not as unstable or they have something in their brain like schizophrenia, PTSD, um, antisocial personality disorder, you know, or ADHD, you know, any of those things. You know, you know, sometimes that can come with a little bit of anxiety or that comes with a little bit of depression. Trust me, especially when, thank you, Chuck, for interrupting me, especially with college starting, I definitely get a little bit of that 
anxiety about me. You know, I definitely get a little bit of that depression. Like, dang it, am I am, am I actually going to be able to do this? Am I actually going to be able to uh, get through college? You know, but unfortunately, Bailey's was um, his demons were especially strong, and in the end, it ended with him taking his life out because he didn't feel like he could handle it anymore and it's honestly one of the saddest things that uh, uh, like the human race ever has to go through you know uh having to experience having a loved one die via their own doing you know i have friends who have attempted before you know and they have their own demons as well so again this video is kind of unscripted it's probably all over the place and i do apologize for that but i just wanted to you know hop on the camera a little bit talk about it uh as sort of like a cathartic way for me to talk about this in a more hopefully healthy way instead of just keeping it all bottled up i think that's something that a lot of people do as well that doesn't really do well for people is keeping all of that like bottled up um but yeah it's it's unfortunate you know it's really unfortunate that something like that always has to happen and so underneath what i have is a list all right it's going to be a link to a list of every suicide hotline number worldwide and I'm not just going to put the United States phone number under there because, you know, I, I look at my stats, okay? There's some people from the United States, but there's also people across the pond. There's also people down under, you know? There's some people in, there's some people all over the place that end up coming to my channel somehow. So I might as well, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it all the way and do it right. You know what I mean? So yeah it and also if you don't feel like you can call those i do heavily suggest you know talking to someone who you can trust you know that's that's definitely a big step as well you know even if it isn't a parent um it doesn't always have to be a parent it could be your best friend it could be uh maybe like a grandparent you know what i mean it can be anyone at all the the person you trust the most uh you know talk to them about it and you know i, I think it'll definitely help you get yourself in the right direction you know um again i'm very sorry if this seems out of focus all over the place because it really is um i'm glad that i'm finally able to that I'm finally trying to speak out about all of this because I think again if I kept if I kept it bottled up uh you know it probably wouldn't be good for your boy so so yeah uh remember you are not alone um uh, talk to someone about your problems if you can and just recognize that yeah you you are not alone you are never alone. You know, I... And I'm just going to end it off with this. I, religious-wise, I don't know if I'm actually religious or not. Uh, you know, my... I live down in Tennessee. So, you know, my family's a whole bunch of Christians. You know? Usually. And they're usually a whole bunch of Christians. And you know what? Again, that's okay. You know, I, I ain't one to judge. And especially recently, I've been kind of confused, you know, on whether or not, um, whether or not God or Lucifer or heaven or hell exists, whatever exists, I'm not really sure. If, if it turns out to exist, heck yeah, I'm on board. And if it doesn't, it's kind of, it's a scary thought, but, you know, that'll be a bridge to cross over when the bridge is officially finished. 
uh, Bailey, uh, sorry I couldn't make a better video for you. Um, and to Bailey's family, I don't know if they'll personally see this, but you're, but my thoughts and condolences are with you during this for sure a very rough time you know losing losing a child right when they get to the age of becoming an adult when they have so much of their life ahead of them it's always it's always a ter it's always a terrible thing it's always a horrible thing and i and i hope i i hope i don't sound insensitive saying this but i hope i never get to experience that same thing but for now all i can do is just uh you know, give my thoughts and condolences to the people who are indeed suffering, you know, right now, during this time. Uh, Bailey, um, it's possible that you may not watch this. You know, if you're, if, if heaven and hell exists and you act, and you're like a ghost going on your computer or your phone or whatever and you're lo looking up videos and you see this and you're seeing me talking to you um thanks very much man for your friendship for a lot of years i'm sorry we didn't really talk more you know i'm i'm glad we had the friendly interactions that we did though um i enjoyed the fact that you uh <laughs> prank called the house once to, you know pulling the the literal refrigerator is running gag that because that's that's what he did one day uh you know i was hanging out it was a while back i think i was in junior high age uh and he called the house phone because back then we actually had a landline phone I don't think we have one to this day. We usually just carry cell phones at this point. But for a while, you know, we kept a, a landline around. So he actually called that house and pull, and pulled the ref, uh, is your refrigerator running joke. And, you know, I encountered him. I encountered him at school the next day and said, oh, yeah, um, I thought I recognized your name on the phone. Did you by any chance call someone about a refrigerator? And, you know, the. You know, kids' reactions to that was hilarious. Uh, maybe I should have said something like, "You know what? That was that was funny because you know what? It legitimately was." I'm, you know, because uh, innocent prank calls like that are very rare, man. You know, it's cliche, but you know, it's small. It's the small things that you know can really brighten up a day, even if it may seem annoying at first. You know, you know, always enjoy the good moments. Thank you for being a very genuine, sweet, down to honest person. Uh, thank you for being funny. Thank you for helping me find um, my sense of humor that I have to this day, or at least being one of those people that helped me find it. And um, wherever you are, if you are anywhere, I hope you're doing just fine, man. Uh, Sweet dreams, man. Not to sound weird, but sweet dreams, man. And to anyone who is suffering, and to anyone, again, who is suffering from the same thing that maybe Bailey was going through, again, you are not alone. Talk to somebody. You know, make those steps because, you know, you really, you really don't know, but you are definitely worth something to someone Some, maybe you don't know who but you are worth it to someone i'm jurassic productions no today i'm not jurassic productions today i'm just jay just jay signing out